Hey guys, it's your boy Keith O'Neill here with Keith O'Neill Reviews, and today I wanted to get into the new Aqua de Gio Eau de Parfum. Let's go. I'm gonna lie to you, Aqua de Gio, one of the best selling fragrances of all time. It has been known to be like popular amongst people of all ages, kids in high school still wear this today. Uh, you still have adults who are coming in and wearing this today. For me personally, I've never been that big of a fan on Aqua de Gio. The first and only bottle of Aqua de Gio I had, I wore back in 2004, 2005 when I was still in high school. Um, however, <clears throat> this one was picking up a lot of hype, guys. This guy was picking up a lot of steam. And not only just the steam, but I, I really personally, personally enjoy having new additions to my collection, right? And so the one thing that I'll give about Aqua de Gio um, Eau de Parfum that it does have a leg up on as far as um, the Aqua de Gio line. The original Aqua de Gio has that old frost coloring. This guy is actually going to be very nice and sexy. So they did a really good job when it comes to the, the marketing aspect of it. Um, but what you all want to know, right, is the juice. How is the juice on this bad boy? Well, this is going to be my honest opinion. And we're going to go through this together. So on first, on first sniff, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but I'll be completely honest with you. Based on the hype that this was receiving, this is not, <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more from this guy. I was expecting to have a little bit more sexy, right? But I'll start off with stating that this is kind of basic. This is really basic. It, in my opinion, Aqua de Geo original may be a little bit sexier than this guy. Um, it's, it's really heavy on that whole sea notes, mineral notes. I feel like they really wanted to try to keep that vibe going where it's like, hey, the Aqua line, we're known for being the Aqua and King of that C, that C note. Um, but it didn't give me the complexity that I would have honestly expected for this guy. If I was to give it a rating, I would probably rate this bad boy a 3 out of 5. Um, it's good. It's not great. It's not sexy. It's not going to really razzle or dazzle too many people. It's not going to be a crowd pleaser. So this was underwhelming to say the least. But it is a great guy to have in your collection. 